one quarter horsepower, 1165 RPM, century repulsion start induction motor. Six poles in there. Hard to see them in there, but they're there, all six of them. This uh, motor, boy, I almost uh, got beat out on eBay. Kind of uh, spent a chunk to get this here, but uh, it arrived in good shape. We definitely need to meet more motor collecting friends so we can stop bidding against each other. <laughs> We've made a few friends by these YouTube videos and we uh, kind of trade off who gets what motor so the prices aren't ridiculous on them. Not sure if that nameplate comes through or not, but I will put all of this information in the video description here on YouTube. It uh, seems like this motor is in decent original condition. I rather like them when they have original paint versus, uh, you know, a new paint job. It's got its original box on it. Missing one screw there, but I think I can find an old screw like that. Leads appear to be in very good condition. No broken UPS feet. Let's see if uh, I can hear it start up. It sounds pretty dang good. I haven't done anything. Oh, well, there goes a bicycle in the background. <laughs> I haven't done anything to this motor yet. Just, uh, this is just as it was out of the box. So, uh, it's the same diameter as, uh, other quarter horsepower and actually my third horsepower motor I have. It's just longer, as you can probably see. Quarter horsepower four pole is the shortest. The third horsepower four pole I have, uh, which is that one there on top of the stack is longer and then the six pole quarter horsepower motor is the longest motor's just in excellent condition listen to this start love it find something to drive with it that requires a quarter horsepower at 1165 RPM. A fan blade would be cool, but I don't believe these motors were ever designed to really handle uh, thrust loads on them. The instructions even talk about installing them nice and level and having the belts aligned. When they're running, the rotor is supposed to be magnetically centered between the yeah, thrust bearings on either end, so it's not even touching them. Anyway, we'll see.